Welcome to Wildcat TV. Hi, I'm Jordan, and please stand for the pledges in a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. On the Texas flag, I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. And now for a moment of silence. In other news, many CTE students traveled to Skills USA Regional Contest this past Saturday. Angleton High School had 27 students qualify to advance to the state competition. AV production students Nayeli Vega and Layden Thornley won gold in television video production. Digital media students received a superior rating. Jocelyn Cisneros in digital image manipulation and digital illustration. Kaylin Hankins in Savannah Moreno one superior in 2D, 3D animation short film. 13 welding students who received a superior rating are Jacelyn Parker-Jones, Jane Muguerza, Natalie Rodriguez, Aiden Luna, Blake Jones, Atsiri Leva, Esmeralda Barrera, Mia Sevesta, Trace English, Charles Seidler, and Aaron Osleden. Culinary students are Kaylee Abergast in baking and pastry, as well as Madeline Mass, Donald Gamboa, one mystery basket. Law students are Soraya Luera, Gabriel Rodriguez, and Brenna Buchanan placed first in community service. Jasmine Cook and Kyrie O'Neill also placed first in crime scene model. Good luck to all these students at the State Skills USA competition in Corpus Christi, March 30th through April 2nd. Go Wildcats! Hi guys, I'm Sean, and I'll be doing the sports results for this week. Starting off with the track results from last Thursday. Jamarcus Shockley placed first in the 100 meter. Dalen Alexander placed first in the 100 meter. Maurice Hightower placed first in the 100 meter. Trayvon Williams placed second in the 200 meter. Dalen Alexander placed first in the 200 meter. Jana Pelway placed first in the 400 meter. And Wildcats won third in the 4x1 relay with Trayvon Williams, Calvin Kirkendale, Jamarcus Shockley, and Christian Stevens. We also won first in the 4x2 relay with Jamarcus Shockley, Nick Jackson, Trayvon Williams, Maurice Hightower. And we won second in the 4x4 relay with Jaden Petway, Jordan Petway, Nick Jackson, and Christian Stevens. Field events was Camden Brown placed first in the shot put. Moving on to Wildcats baseball. The varsity baseball team went 2-3 in the Alvin Perryland first pitch tournament last weekend. They got two wins beating Alvin 13-4 and Shadow Creek 2-0. The softball team has had a fast start to the season. They are 6-2 overall. The season opener went 9 innings, getting a win over Columbia 8-6. Riley Church pitched all 9 innings, getting the win, and Gabby Scott getting the game-winning hit. The Wildcats participated in the Bayou City Classic last weekend, going 5-1 on the weekend. Notables from the weekend were strong pitching from Alana Yadov, Riley Church, and Brooklyn Walton. Gracie Walker, Gabby Scott, Lily Solis, and Mason Garrett were top hitters on the weekend, including two home runs and a single game for Mason. The softball team lost to Braswood on Tuesday's home opener, 4-0. It was a great outing against a tough team. Riley Church did well on the mound, and top hitters were Lily Solis, Gracie Walker, and Ari Cruz. The softball team went 4-2 in the Clear Creek ISD tournament this past weekend. Secured wins against Lamar Consolidated, Kempner, Dickinson, and Clear Creek. Losses came to Clear Springs and Conroe in close, hard fought games. The big hitter for the weekend was Mason Garrett, who hit four home runs and had 15 RBIs, including her first ever Grand Slam. Other offensive help came from Riley Church, Gracie Walker, Lily Solis, and Riley Davila. A shout out to Lily Calderon, who hit her first varsity home run this past week as well. We have our first district game at home next Tuesday, March 7th, against Friendswood. The Angleton Wildcat boys soccer team played the Texas City Stingrays this past Tuesday night at Wildcat Stadium, winning 4-1. The Wildcats struck first five minutes into the first half with a beautiful 40-yard pass from the Wildcats' defense at third, from Alejandro Carrasco to Josh Diaz, who split the defenders where he lobbed the ball over the keeper. Josh would strike again at the 19-12 mark, where he received a hard cross on the ground in the box from Cesar Baeza. The Cats weren't done. 
At the 11.32 mark, David Estrada would stretch the defenders to the right and cross the ball into the keeper box, where Cesar Beza would knock it in. The Stingrays could, would score on a corner kick at 7.58 mark. The final score would come with 36 seconds left in the half. It would come from Ivan Rodriguez on a 50-yard free kick. Ivan's ball would carry past everyone out of the keeper's reach and into the goal. The Wildcats defense would do the rest, keeping the Stingrays at scoreless the second half. Also, JV won 5-1. Good job, Wildcats. Hi, I'm Desmond. I'm giving the upcoming events for next week. T today, March 3rd, there'll be a tennis match at home, and as well as a Wildcats soccer game versus Manville, which will be at Manville High School from 5.30 to 7.30. Today through Saturday, March 4th, the Wildcat baseball plays in the Huffman Tournament, and the Lady Cat Varsity Softball plays in League City and as well as the Lady Cat JV Softball plays in the Clear Creek Tournament. Good luck Wildcats. On March 6th, there'll be a baseball meeting from 6.30 to 7, and a boys soccer meeting in the library from 6 to 8. On March 7th, which is a Tuesday, the project graduation meeting will be from 5.30 to 7.30, as well as the Wildcat baseball game will be at home at 6 p.m. The Lady Cat Softball versus Friendswood game will be at home, JV at 5, and Varsity at 6.30. And on March 8th, which is a Wednesday, the Softball Booster Club meeting will take place from 6.30 to 8, and the Wildcat soccer game at home will be a senior night. On March 9th, there will be a FAFSA senior lunch meeting in the CTE Center, and on March 10th, it's early release, we will get out at 1.55, as well as the Lady Cat JV softball game will be at home at 4 o'clock. And on March 11th, there will be SAT testing. You need to be registered to take the test, so visit your counselor to get registered. And from March 13th to 17th, it will be spring break. Enjoy! Attention seniors, the Project Grad Fish Fry Fundraiser is happening now. Stop by Miss Adams Room A122 and pick up tickets to start selling now. All unsold tickets and money are due back by March 6th. Lady Cat Softball will have their first district game Tuesday, March 7th against Friendswood. It will be youth night. Gates open at 4.30. Wear your jersey and get in for free. Remember, crime doesn't pay, but Crime Stoppers does. Call or text Crime Stoppers to report your crime. You will stay anonymous. There is Saturday school this Saturday from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. It's been a lonely Friday. See y'all next week.